Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install Apache HBase in addition to Apache Hadoop which we have already installed in one of the previous video on Ubuntu 16.04. Now before we begin with the installation part of Apache HBase on Ubuntu 16.04, let us first of all understand some introduction, history and other details of Apache HBase. If we talk of history, Apache HBase began as a project by the company PowerSet out of a need to process massive amounts of data for the purposes of natural language search. It is now a top level Apache project. Now if we talk of some introduction, Apache HBase is an open source non-relational distributed database modeled after Google's big table and is written in Java. It is developed as part of Apache Software Foundation's Apache Hadoop project and runs on the top of HDFS that is Hadoop Distributed File System providing big table like capabilities for Hadoop. That is, it provides a fault tolerant way of storing large quantities of sparse data that is small amounts of information caught within a large collection of empty or unimportant data such as finding the 50 largest item in a group of 2 billion records or finding the non-zero items representing less than 0.1% of the huge collection. HBase features compression, in-memory operation and bloom filters on a pre-column basis as outlined in the original big table paper. Tables in HBase can serve as the input and output for MapReduce jobs run in Hadoop and may be accessed through Java API but through REST, Avro or Threat Gateway APIs. HBase is a column oriented key value data store and has been idolized widely because of its lineage with Hadoop and HDFS. HBase runs on the top of HDFS and is well suited for faster read and write operations on large data sets with high throughput and low input output latency. HBase is not a direct replacement for a classic SQL database, however Apache Phoenix project provides an outer layer for HBase as well as JDBC driver that can be integrated with various analytics and business intelligence applications. The Apache Trefordin project provides a SQL query engine with ODBC and JDBC drivers and distributed asset transaction protection across multiple statements, tables and rows that uses HBase as a storage engine. HBase is now serving data-driven websites including Facebook's messaging platform. Unlike relational and traditional databases, HBase doesn't support SQL scripting. Instead, the equivalent is written in Java, employing similarity with MapReduce application. In parlance of Eric Bever's CAP theorem, HBase is CP type system. The developer of Apache HBase is Apache Software Foundation. The current stable release is version 1.2.4 which was released on 7th November 2016. It is under active development status and it is purely cross-platform which means it can be even installed on Windows, Linux, on any flavor or even macOS. And the official website which you can see on the screen of my laptop is hbase.apache.org and you can find lots and lots of features that is linear and modular scalability, script consistent read and write, automatic and configurable shredding of tables, automatic failover support between region servers, convenient base classes for backing Hadoop MapReduce jobs with Apache HBase tables, easy to use Java API for client access, block cache and bloom filters for real-time queries, query predicate push down via server side filters, thrift gateway and a restful web service that supports XML, protobuf and binary data encoding options, extensible JRuby based shell and support for exporting matrices via Hadoop metrics subsystem to files or Gaglia or via JMX. So if you want to have more additional resource regarding Apache HBase, you can go to this website that is cloudera.com. The link will be given downstairs on this video and it also says HBase is the architecture of HBase compares HBase with other technology and explains several HBase use cases and field questions from Chicago Data Summit and you can even play this video also and lots and lots of things can also be downloaded from this website. Now let us proceed with the installation part of Apache HBase. Now before we even proceed, let me tell you how to download the Apache HBase. So you can find that there is a uh, there is a heading over here that is download. So you can find there is a link called click here to download Apache HBase. So what you have to do is to click over here and click on this mirror. You can even go to this etc over there. So you can find over here that is the latest is 1.17, 1.24, Apache HBase 0.94 or HBase 1.03 or even stable releases. Whatever you want to download, you can just click over here and you just 
have to download this binary.tar.gz file which is about 104 MB. So I have already downloaded this 1.17 bin.tar.gz and you can click on this properties you can find that it is about 103 MB of storage space. So what we have to do is to just copy this uh, HBase into our VMware machine. So just let us start with the password. You can find all the steps I have written over here. So let us paste first of all the HBase to my Ubuntu. So you can see that it has been copied to my desktop. Now before I proceed with the installation part of Apache HBase, let me tell you before installing HBase, make sure of the following prerequisite installations. What we have to do is to have Ubuntu 16.04 because I have fully tested it on Ubuntu 16.04 and I find no problem in executing any single command, any any single command of Apache HBase on Ubuntu 16.04. Second is Java 1.8. The third which is very important is Hadoop that is 2.7.0. As you can see that I have already uh, made you install Apache Hadoop in my previous video. I will be also providing you the link of how to install Hadoop uh, below of this video. So let us start with the Apache HBase. So now you can see that what I have done, I have already installed Hadoop on this machine previously and the same user with my name that is Anand. So let us have the local user itself. Now the first thing is to restart the SSH service. So what we have to do is to give this command service sshd restart. Because I am not the root, you have to give the authentication. So not what we have to do because some people have even asked me the queries in my video that if we have stopped the server, if we have restarted the server, how we can restart the Apache Hadoop. So let me tell you in this video how to restart the Apache Hadoop. Now what you have to do is to go to the directory where you have installed Hadoop. So let us go to this directory cd slash user slash local slash Hadoop slash Hadoop. 2.7.0 slash sbin. So sbin is the known as the binary files directory where we have the executable file. So if we go for ls you can find all these executable files. Now what you have to do is to go with this command that is dot slash start hyphen all dot sh. So you can see that the script is also depreciated and the two scripts will be executed that is dfs and yarn dot sh and make it sure that you execute the script in that user only that user which you have used in order to install Hadoop. If you are using it on root, it will not be started. So you can see that the uh, name node, data node, etc. is all started. So you can see that secondary name node is also being starting. So resource manager also starting. So it has been started. So now what you have to give, give this command is known as JPS. So you can see that everything over here has been started. It means that this machine has properly started Hadoop. Make it sure everyone, whatever those people who are watching this video, unless or until you have not installed Hadoop and you have not started all these processes, even if you install and start HBase, it will not be working. So make it sure that this thing should happen before you start the installation part of HBase. Now we have to download the HBase. I've already given you this link and that link and I've already demonstrated in my previous uh, in my previous session before starting this how to install uh, that is uh, or download HBase. So now what we have to do is that we have we have the file over here that is HBase 1.7.1 binary on the desktop. So what we have to do is to first of all quit over here and we have to go to the desktop. So let us go to desktop. So here we have the file that is called HBase 1.1.7.pin.tar.gz. So what we have to do is to first of all create a directory. So we make we give this command sudo mkdir HBase sorry slash user slash lib slash HBase. So give the password. So the directory has been created in user slash lib slash HBase. And now what we have to do is to move this over here. So before we move, we have to just uh, give uh, extract the command. So tar space xvf HBase 1.17 the same extension. So let's press enter. So it has been extracted fully. Let me show you the folder after it gets extracted. 
so lots and lots of jar files because it is written in java it is always jar so java archive so let's clear let us ls so th there is a folder so this folder is the main folder on which we are going to work so let us move this folder to the directory which we have created that is user slash lib slash hbase so let us give this command because it's a big command i will not waste my time over here so let me paste so this command will move the hbase you can see from this location to this location okay so now what we have to do is to go to that location that is cd slash user slash lib slash hbase slash hbase 1.17 so let us press ns so you can find there are different folders that is bin changes conf docs hbase web apps legal lib lessons.txt notice and readme so what we have to do is to go to this conf folder so cd conf and now what we have to do is to edit one shell file so nano nano is the editor that is hbase hyphen env dot sh now over here in this uh, file you have to uh, uh, make three changes so first of all what you have to do is to go to this uh, line that is export java home so first of all uncomment it so that you can have it and there you have to give the extension of java where it has been installed so you can give the same extension which i have used in a hadoop also so let us copy this and let us paste it so you can see that it has been pasted now what we have to do is to find this that is region servers so you, here is a line so let us go to this home line and let us uncomment it and now what we have to go is to give the extension of this line so let me first of all delete this and now you have to just copy and paste so follow steps if you follow steps no problem will be there so control w we just go with this following that is zk so this is the line so go to this and uncomment it only so no ma don't make any changes over this line so all thing has been done so what you have to do is to give control x w yes and enter so the file has been written now what we have to do is to edit the bash rc so give this command nano this line dot bash rc so you can come downstairs and you can find I have already given these things when I have installed Hadoop. So what you have to do is to give these two commands, these two lines, hbase and home bin, so that we can start. So let us paste it and let me reduce the space between them. So control X, yes, and press enter. Now what we have to do is to type this command so that everything has been uh, adjusted properly. That is source bash rc. So everything has been adjusted. Now what we have to do is to edit one more file also. That is, uh, uh, go to this uh, uh, file that is nano hbase hyphen site dot xml. Same, we have to write the configuration between uh, between these two configuration files of property index. So here is the uh, everything over here. So everything will be available to you downstairs of this video or to my Facebook uh, like page also. So paste it so you can even align it or just leave it so control x yes and press enter now we are all set we can just go to cd double dot and we just go to this bin folder and press enter and now if we go with this you can find that there is a file called start hyphen hbase dot shell so what you have to do is to give this command dot slash start hyphen hbase dot sh So it will be taking some time and it will be starting HBase. And now your machine is fully compatible to go for any HBase shell query, etc. over there. So I will be also giving you some commands how to use some shell commands. So let us type this command that is JPS. And now you can see some more commands are also entered over here. So now let us uh, move to the to the shell. Let us clear this because we have already given this. That is hbase shell so give this command you can find the hbase shell will be started so I recommend to have at least 2 to 3 GB of RAM in order to use properly hbase you can find that it is very very easy to start hbase if you have followed steps so Hadoop is a compulsion before you start over here so you can see that the HBase has come. So let us go with two or three commands first of all, and then we go with the web interface. So here is the command that is 
uh, some status commands I will be telling and I will be making some more videos regarding how to make table, how to edit it, how to everything do that. So let us go with some command. First of all status. You can find there is a one server zero dead and 2.000 average load. So status space quote simple. So you can find more status. So status again a command that is summary. So again summary is there. So status if I say with detailed it will give me some detailed status so if I go with the version it will say me 1.1.7 and if I go with this command that is who am I you can find this is uh, the user which I have used that is Anand so if you want to uh, go out you can just go for exit you can be out so you can just type the web address also so let me take the IP address of this machine that is 192.168.1.38 so let us go with this. Let us copy this. So let me replace the IP address with this. 192.168.117.138 And now you can see that the Apache HBase is properly working and uh, the, this is the main uh, front end of Apache HBase. So all these monitor tasks are also here. So all RPC handler tasks are there. So you can even go with table details. So user tables are right now no there. So you can even go with this logs. Every log is being available. And debug dump, you can even go with this. So lots and lots of options are there, what you have to do. So in this video, I have demonstrated how to install Apache HBase in addition to Apache Hadoop and installation how to install Apache Hadoop will be available downstairs of the link of my YouTube video which has already been uploaded to my YouTube channel. So I hope that you have liked this video. Do share with your friends. Do like this video. Thank you so much for watching.